I'm looking for, th uh, didn't get any food today. Not today, we had donuts yesterday and today. I thought we were on to something. Oh my, what, what? <laughs> oh, that's why wow. that's food. Yeah, what? yeah, that, doesn't that brighten up your day right there? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a walking disco ball, as we said, that is Mirror Man. And Lena Maria De Leon is here. Who is your, uh, your partner over there? This is Mirror Man Specs, San Antonio's very own Mirror Man. We are definitely entertainment, definitely bringing the party to you. And can come to your party. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All Wait right. till you hear all the different kinds of fun they can bring. All right, we have got a legend in the studio today. None other than Ma Harper is here, and she's going to be cooking up some of her wonderful Creole dishes. Can't wait to try those. And, all right, are you ready for some over-the-top burgers? Well, we've got Mark's outing here showing off some of the yum yum. That burger, you're not gonna believe the size of it. And how many people can eat that thing? Right now, we got 350, and they're already counting. All wow. right. And wait till you hear about the burger that went viral. We are gonna show you why. All right, a lot of great entertainment at the rodeo. One of them tonight, Randy Rogers. I had a chance to chat with him, and what a nice guy. So that raises the question, mm -hmm. who would you like to see or hear mm -hmm. or both at Perform, the rodeo? Yeah, they're at the rodeo. Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And you might see your answer in the show. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live, so stick around. This Rodeo Remembers, powered by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. In the early days of rodeo, the talents of both cowboys and cowgirls were on display. But one accident led to a major setback. As America moved west, women learned to rope and ride, but working herds wasn't considered women's work. However, by the late 1800s, Wild West shows began making cowgirls like Annie Oakley and Lucille Mulhall famous. By the early 1900s, women began to rodeo. The first professional female athlete was Prairie Rose Henderson. Known for her flashy fashion sense and daring saddle skills, she became a world champion bronc rider in 1911. In the 1920s, women were competing in a third of the nation's rodeos. But in 1929, a tragedy changed everything. Bronc rider Bonnie McCarroll caught her foot in her stirrup after being thrown. After her death, rodeos began replacing cowgirl competitions with ranch girl beauty contests. But attitudes did change. In 1942, women's barrel racing became an accepted rodeo event and the first all-women's rodeo was held in Bonham, Texas. These rodeos were exhibitions, not official competitions, but a dispute over an Amarillo calf roping event led to the formation of the Girls Rodeo Association in 1948. In the decades that followed, the GRA advanced the role of women in rodeo. In 1981, they changed their name to the Women's Professional Rodeo Association. Thanks to them, today's rodeos are proof that you can't keep a cowgirl down. Welcome back. We're at 54 right now on our way to mid to upper 50s this afternoon. Winds will eventually die down by tomorrow morning. We start off with a light freeze and a high of 80, uh, 56, not 86, 56 coming up tomorrow, guys. Thank you, Justin. Just to let you know, we're on standby. We're hearing there may be a special report coming up from ABC News out of Washington. We're on standby for that. But in the meantime, I think the SA Live show today will be a reflection of all ah. the great food and great cooks and chefs we have here in San Antonio. What do you think? Mirror Man. Nice pun. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Kudos to you, dude. I like that one. Today on SA Live, it's an American country music band from San Marcos, the Randy Rogers Band, and we chat with them ahead of the stock, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Performance tonight. Plus, get ready for Mardi Gras with delicious recipes from a Creole kitchen led by local favorite, Ma Harper. And get your barbecue on for rodeo season. We have a Texas pit master. Heat things up with recipes ready from the pit. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. I don't know if I can top David's little pun right there, but we're looking at the man in the mirror. Yeah. The man, who's the mirror? <laughs> yes, yes. Happy Thursday. <laughs> There's the mirror man. I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And I'm my ghost, age. And oh yeah, it is going to be a good day when we can mm -hmm. just look and reflect upon ourselves, right? <laughs> yes. Um, our, our, our first. 
Cruz guest today will brighten up any event. Yes, indeed. And joining us right now, along with Miraman, Lina Maria De Leon, events team lead with Definitely Entertainment. <laughs> Welcome, and please do the formal introduction yes. of your uh, partner over there. This is Specs, the Miraman, San Antonio's very own and only Miraman. And of course, this can come to you, right? Absolutely. It can come to you. So we're definitely in entertainment, and we started back in 2015, and we've been able to perform all over San Antonio, surrounding areas, Austin, Dallas, and we're able to bring all of this to you, to anyone. And this is just one example, right? Just one. I mean, we have so many performers. We have aerialists. We have fire breathers, stilt walkers, dancers of all kinds. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> we also have... Hmm. What oh, he's else? got moves. What else do you he's got have? moves. We just okay. have a little bit of everything and anything that you absolutely want. And this is just one version of the Mirror Man, right? Yes, just one version. He actually has a much dapper suit. I mean, if you can get in any more <laughs> than this, he has a full black suit. It's absolutely wonderful. Who came up with the idea of a mirrored suit? So, Deanna Feliciano is our owner and just the absolute best, wonderful boss ever. And she decided to just go on this idea of bringing a mirror man to San Antonio. Specs is San Antonio's own, and he just brings the life to the party. I mean, can you see? It's like he's a live disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And, and, and at any party, you'd go, just meet at the mirror man. Absolutely. You know what good I mean? If you, if you get separated, yes. don't worry. I, very good. <laughs> that, that, I like that. So, big corporate events, small little parties too, right? Absolutely. So we do corporate, promotion, weddings, quinces, Baby, uh, baby showers, gender reveals. I mean, anything you want, we have it. Oh, DJ. He's also oh. a really awesome DJ, guys. Oh, okay, look, look at the video that. right there with all of the different lights. So we have LED dancers as well. We have flamenco, folklorico. Um, we have B boys. We have, well, just salsa, merengue, bachata. What else are you trying to show me? Uh, break dancers, little, tap dancers. Tap dancing. Okay. I mean, he does. Well, it's not just him. We have amazing performers that have toured all over San Antonio, all over the U.S. and the world. I mean, and we're really excited to be here in San Antonio. And you guys, have you, you said you mentioned earlier Alaska, right? Yes, Alaska. So <laughs> New York, Miami, and the furthest we have traveled is Alaska. So that would probably be near the top of the list. I would think of most unusual costumes. What do you think would be next? Hmm. Well, we actually have a lot more in store. We like to come up with our own creations um, there in our office and just providing something that you've never even seen before. As you can see, we have our wonderful 100 oh. Wait, hold on. Champagne oh, was that, skirt. Was that a champagne skirt? Yeah. Champagne skirt? Yes. Okay. I thought for a second that was on a table in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> So if somebody wants to book, do they just go to the website and just look at all of these different costumes and say, I want that one and that one? Absolutely. Or you can even go to our website, definitelyent.com, and just say, hey, I'm thinking about this, that, and the other. Is there anything you can do for us? And the word the is champagne. definitely we can. I there. love that. Wow. Isn't it gorgeous? Skirt. <laughs> so we have a 50-piece and 100-piece champagne skirt, but you don't have to put just champagne. You can put margaritas. You can put cotton candy, anything you'd like. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much. Let folks know how they can how they can book you. So you can find us on uh, definitelyent.com, on Instagram, Facebook, and just make sure you check us out. And right. as you see, that's not a spelling error. It's definitely without any vowels in it. So. <laughs> yes. Nina, thank you very much, Mirror Man. Thank Appreciate you. it. So. Thank you, Specs. All right, for more information on Definitely Entertainment, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, well, switching gears now, you may have already seen a concert at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, or plan to, but if your favorite band isn't playing this year, you may not attend. Yeah, that's right. So let us know what band would you want to see perform at the Rodeo, Mike? And that's the thing, bands from mm -hmm. all different you know, genres of music, mm -hmm. which is what makes it so good. Um, I would say Kiss. Oh, well, yeah, Why okay, not? I can I mean, see that. Okay. They never had um, S Club 7. Who? Exactly. You don't know who that is? Okay, I mean, there's, let's see, there's Club John, six. there's Hannah, there's Paul, so, there's Tina. You know, and they were created by the, the guy who did, you know, like the manager of the Spice Girls. You don't know, remember? 
Oh this yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got all their albums. Hey, and keeping <laughs> with the trend of great entertainment happening in San Antonio, Stock Show and Rodeo, a certain American country music band from San Marcos has charted seven singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs charts. It's the Randy Rogers Band, and we chat with him ahead of their performance at the Rodeo. Today, I've got the pleasure of speaking with a major name in Texas country music. He has seven singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, five top albums on the Billboard Country Albums chart. His ninth studio album was released this past October, and his tour is headed right here to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Frontman and singer-songwriter of the Randy Rogers Band, Randy Rogers, joins us. Welcome, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So you are going to be performing at the Stock Show and Rodeo tonight. A little bit of uh, kind of coming back home for you? Absolutely. You know, we're raising our kiddos here in New Braunfels, Texas. And uh, so it is kind of a hometown show for us. we got lots of family and friends uh, and kiddos coming out tonight. So we're looking forward to the rodeo. I think it's been a few years uh, since we played the rodeo. So uh, thank you for having me back. San oh, Antonio. Okay more than more than welcome and yeah folks are just back in droves so what's the one thing you know being up there in New Braunfels but coming down here to San Antonio that you uh, always want to kind of do the most uh, well you know it's got to be some Mexican food somewhere right uh, I got to get my fix um, we love the Riverwalk uh, we love coming down you know I travel all over the country and um, I tell people that San Antonio probably is the most underrated city uh, that we have. I always encourage people to visit. I love the people, the community, uh, the music, the food. Uh, just it's such a great city and so proud to be playing the rodeo. Just a, a big small town, as everybody says, which is wonderful. Absolutely love it. All right. You recently reunited with Randy Foster, who produced your band's early albums. What was it like uh, working with him again? Yeah, so Randy Foster was a mentor to me in the beginning of um, our careers. Uh, he was the one that taught me to write songs and, and show me how to co-write and go to Nashville and write with other writers and got me a publishing deal and eventually a record deal. And and so it just felt right. It felt like the, the timing was right to work with Radney again. We've remained friends through the years. Um, lots of his family actually lives there in San Antonio. He's a Del Rio native. Um, so it was just the right, the right time to get back in the studio with Radney. We started writing songs during the pandemic over Zoom, uh, just like this phone call right <laughs> here. We get up in the mornings and have coffee and talk about what we want to come up with next and what we want to write. And then that turned into the conversation about getting back in the studio. So, so it just kind of like, it, it just fell back into place, just like good old days, like it had never ended, right? Just like seeing an old friend that you hadn't, you know, seen in a long time. We, we were riding a bicycle, you know, it's just we picked up right where we left off, you know, 15 years ago and uh, the rest is history. All right. Last April, you joined George Strait, Willie Nelson for two shows, which is probably pretty darn neat. Anybody that you would like to get on stage with or collaborate with? Well, you know, Willie and George again, let's let's <laughs> round two. <laughs> I uh, grew up in Texas and, and dreamed of obviously being George Strait, being Willie Nelson, and I think I landed somewhere in the middle um, and, and so happy and so proud of being able to stare this, the stage with George so many times throughout the years and Willie. Um, just looking forward to that opportunity again. So, George, if you're watching, uh, come on. I, I, I hope he's a big fan of the show. I hope he watches. So, hey, and you recently launched a new uh, whiskey, too. Yeah, Bomb Breaker. It's a Hefeweizen whiskey. Uh, we call it the Spirit of New Braunfels. Slow River Blend is the blend that we have out right now. Uh, we're about a year old. Um, we're in most liquor stores that you go to and visit. You can ask them for Bomb Breaker. And uh, it's, it's delicious. And it's uh, the Spirit of New Braunfels. Very good. Thank you so much. It was great chatting with you. You can catch Randy Rogers performing at the AT&T Center after Ranch Rodeo tonight. For more information, go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Randy, thank you so much. We can't wait. We love you, San Antonio. Whoa, I wish I could have right? talked to him in person because he was just He's such so a nice, nice. Guy. Yeah, Very, <laughs> very gracious and very nice. So, All right, when I say live continues, over-the-top burgers like you've never tasted before. We have a local burger joint. Show us how to make the perfect burger. And coming up later, Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen is in studio, and we make some yummy recipes ahead of Fat Tuesday, which is next week.
Ooh, yes, we got some good food now. Welcome back to SNI. Live. We have a local living legend joining us right now, Ma Harper. Yes, owner of Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen, sharing some Mardi Gras recipes. So, so good, good to, to see you, my dear. You. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Yes, We're all right. glad you are here. So what did you bring? What's you got? Well, you have red beans with sausage, rice, and he fixing to do a shrimp. Creole. Okay, yeah. so I'm putting half of this, half of, those, half of the shrimp yeah, in there. that's not enough filling. Okay, okay, there we go, and I'll put that in there. So what's in the Creole sauce, and what makes really good Creole cooking? Mm -hmm. uh, the Trinity. And what is the Trinity? Onion, mm -hmm. garlic, bell pepper, celery, all of the above. All of the above, yes, we've got that example sitting right here. Okay. So where'd you learn how to cook? Uh, when I was a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you're part of a big family, right? Yeah, second old of 16. <laughs> so you, you said if you, had to, if you wanted to eat, you had to learn how to cook, right? If you want to eat, <laughs> you, learn, you learn how to cook it, go get it. So what is the trick to making good Creole recipes? Time. Mm -hmm. You can't make this, this is not fast food, right? No, you can't cook it fast. Mm. Okay. I can eat that cold. <laughs> <laughs> If it's this good cold, you know it's Can really good warm. Can you imagine if it was warm? Okay. Mm. All right. So what have so I got here? Turn my your shrimp. Yeah. And when they begin to turn, you know, like okay. orange color. Yeah. Because shrimps don't take long. It's nothing but awa. Okay. Water. Now this is your time of year, though, with Mardi Gras coming up, cooking all this great food, right? Well, yeah. I like to do a Mardi Gras bash with uh, the crawfish yeah. and uh, corn, you know, and potatoes, and every little thing. Okay. And am I building something in this bowl right here? More yeah. the uh, red beans and rice, I think, over okay. there. Maybe the hot stuff, and I'm eating the yeah. cold <laughs> stuff. Okay, now, your recipes, how, you've just, what, learned? Did you learn from your mom cooking? Your, your dad, what? My own. Really? You just started experimenting and just came up with these well, great recipes? you know, when you make sure you want to eat, you're going to fix it like you want it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have been in town for how many years now? The restaurant will be 32 years uh, June. Yeah. And you're and originally from New Orleans? Yeah, I'm originally 56 years in Texas. Woohoo! So I'm a Texan now. <laughs> you're yes. right. It is better when it's hot, but it's pretty good cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So we were wondering mm -hmm. earlier. Can what? I see that? Oh, yeah. she wants to take a look. You want to mm -hmm. see this? Okay. How is the, how's the, how's the shrimp going? Right, let me have some of that broth. Some of the broth, put the broth in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much? Poquito. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> All right. And what advice would you have for youngsters these days? Because mm -hmm. you're, you've lived a, f a few years, right? 94 in August. Wow. <laughs> And you, so, you taught so, in the culinary arts, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to be brief, I only use oil for frying. And I teach people how water, awa, will do the same. Water begot water, so it'll bring it out. Mm -hmm. Shrimps is nothing but water. Okay. So can I just feel the... Yeah, yeah. And that's how you can tell if it's done, just by, by the touch of it? No, you need some more of that and bring it up. More of this? Yeah. Okay, a little bit, little bit more right there. Okay. Okay, now and, we'll bring it up. All right. And, and your restaurant is over there near uh, Fort Sam, right? 1860 in North New Brownsville Avenue. Okay, right. and you're going to be celebrating Mardi Gras every day of the year, right? Every day is a Mardi Gras to me. <laughs> every day is Mardi Gras. Yes. Right. Every day you want to be yourself. My, it is always a pleasure <laughs> to see you. you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. For more information on Ma Harper's Creole Kitchen, just head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link or just scan the QR code on your screen. Well, still ahead, we have tips from a Texas pit master on barbecue and our gender bias trusty chows down on some rodeo ready smoked recipes. Plus, in our KSAT community spotlight this month, the American Heart Association is popping by in order to address food access and nutrition security.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, in our case at Community Spotlight this month, the American Heart Association, in order to address food access and nutrition security, is collaborating with Big Fresh Market Box to get our community eating healthy. And here with all the dirt on all these fresh vegetables is Jamie Gonzalez, who is Director of Community Feeding Programs for Big Fresh Market Box. Welcome. Hi, Mike. Okay, this table is just beautiful with all the fresh fruits and vegetables. And the goal of this is to instruct people that this is good stuff to eat, right? Absolutely. We want them to be excited about fresh produce, um, understand how to get it, where to get it, how much we should have in our home, and that everybody, no matter what zip code they're in, is entitled to the same quality, affordable produce, no matter where they are. So the Big Fresh Box program, what's that all about? The Big Fresh Market Box itself is a home delivery produce box program. It delivers everywhere in Bear County on Tuesdays and Saturdays. It can be ordered through our website. It's a $25 or $30 box with no delivery fee. It also partners with the American Heart Association for a prescription R a food RX program now. With six different doctors in San Antonio, the American Heart Association helps subsidize produce boxes for people that test positive for nutrition insecurity throughout San Antonio as well. So the box might have just a nice little sampling of all of this, right? Absolutely. And then also recipes. Yes, there are recipes, there are tips and tricks on how to use the box, how to store the produce better, and you'll see things like this is how we want you to cook eggplant, but if there's celery in the box, we're always going to tell you to wrap that celery in foil because it's going to keep it crisp for a month. That's what we want to bring to the table. Which I think is part of the problem, and a lot of people, I don't necessarily say shy away from fresh fruits and vegetables, but I mean, why spend the money and then it's going to go bad in the fridge? So you have those ways. Of, of keeping it and getting your money's worth out of it, right? Absolutely. We all have good intentions nowadays. We all want to live longer, stronger, healthier lives, which is the mission of the American Heart Association and the mission of the Big Fresh Market Box. But we get scared or we don't do those things and we hit a hiccup and we throw half of it away and we decide that we're not going to do it anymore. We want to create accessibility that empowers you with the courage to play with your food and have a good time with it so you have a healthier relationship with food. And the box is available to anybody, right? Anybody in Bear County, if you have a door, I can get it there. And if you, <laughs> and if you do not live in Bear County, you can visit one of our produce markets. There are about 15 of them all throughout San Antonio every single month now. We will host over 100 markets this year in partnership with the American Heart Association. And then the mobile food markets too. That's absolutely right. So these markets have over 55 different items on the table every time we go out there. Those prices are three for a dollar, two for a dollar, single priced items, pico de gallo, watermelons, and then things like ginger and turmeric and chayota squash. These markets are also partially funded by the American Heart Association in most cases. And, and I would assume also this is locally grown too, it, the it, majority it, of it. Yes, it comes from a variety of sources. It, many of it is locally grown, all locally sourced. When you come to one of our markets that is partners, partnered with the American Heart Association, Association or even County Commissioner Justin Rodriguez, you receive a discount on your produce for making a healthy choice and purchasing produce that day. For example, buy five, get $10 worth of produce for free. Why? Because you made the choice to bring more fresh produce in your life. We want you to be excited about it. And there's just nothing like fresh fruits and vegetables on your plate. Another big push for the American Heart, Heart Month is to get the community to learn hands-only CPR. And for more information on that, visit KSAT.com. Jamie, thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. All right, still ahead, prepare your stomach for the perfect burger. Mark Schotting joins us with some unbelievable burgers, and you're not going to believe the size of those things. Plus, Jen makes rodeo-ready barbecue recipes with Texas Pitmaster and author Adrian Davila. Hope you brought lunch to work because, boy, you're going to be hungry after the break. Generation Pitmaster and published author Adrian Davila with Davila's Barbecue is back with us here on SA Live. This time, taking it way back with a traditional recipe from his cookbook. Adrian, so happy to have you here with us Thank today. Thank you for having me again. It's always a pleasure to be here, and now it's rodeo time. Yes. So I wanted to bring uh, something like way, way back, really South Texas, and that's our nopales, right? So nopales, you can find all over South, South Texas is cactus, but what we do is we're gonna grill some Ooh. and you know who thinks about grilling green things <laughs> but they're green actually gooey things, right? right. <laughs> 
So, you know, I'm gonna get some nopales going and some tomatoes and onions. Super, super easy. Now you can add all the jalapenos. As you see, we have this finished product right oh, here. Oh, I see, okay. So we took these onions, the jalapenos, and the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and the nopales, and we add a little bit of queso fresco, and it's just, just like wonderful, oh, healthy, grilled-like salad. the magic of salad. television. We got it all ready for us. It's all ready for you guys. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really, really, really good and, mm. and good for you. We don't really do that too much in South Texas. <laughs> So, and tell me more about the history of this recipe here. Yeah, I'm so gonna give this a try too. Okay. For sure. Mm -hmm. So like the history of it is again like the vaqueros or anybody mm -hmm. in Texas, indigenous people, you cooked what you had around you mm -hmm. and what you found and what was plentiful and by some mean form or fashion what was nutritious. Yes. So these yes. are extremely nutritious, extremely plentiful mm -hmm. and all over mm -hmm. South Texas. So pair them with the tomatoes and the onions and add that zinc to them and you have a wonderful meal. Yes, very good by the way. Oh, I don't think I've ever tried that. You have never no, had a nopales. No. A little queso fresco mm. adds a little bit of solidity, the onions and sweetness, so it's really, really good there. And then fast forward to our rodeo menu. Yes, yeah, so talk about what you Yeah, about. so we're gonna go from healthy to uh, not quite <laughs> That's okay. so. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, so we are now Davila's Barbecue has a spot in the AT&T Center. Nice. Very happy about yes. that. So we're there for every Spurs game, and now it's rodeo time. Mm -hmm. San Antonio loves their rodeos. Yes, yeah, so let's so start here. Tell me what brisket we have. tacos, mm -hmm. and we garnish ourselves a little pico de gallo and queso fresco and uh, avocado crema, mm -hmm. our barbecue sauce, of course. And then we have this brisket burger, which starts out as a whole yeah. raw brisket. We grind it, and we put it in the smoker, treat it like a brisket, and then top it with some sliced brisket, burnt ends of tomato mayonnaise. Stop it. Brisket Stop burger. It. It's killer. It's at the wow. restaurant. It's one of our best selling items. Tex Mully did do a feature. You want to check that out online. Nice. And, and I love the flag, by the way. Yes. Yeah, Diving this barbecue yes. all the way. Yes. And we also now we have our sausage wraps. We're just taking two flour tortillas, cutting up our links. Mm -hmm. And then you know, that tomato onion combination, maybe like you find in a Chicago dog. Mm -hmm. We're putting pico de gallo, honing it in, and it's great. Last but not least, everybody loves a good rack of ribs. Look so this is our rodeo rack of ribs. Yeah. Over our homemade potato chips that we fry in house, put a little bit of our rub on there, mm -hmm. a little bit of our barbecue sauce, and that rub you can get at HEB, just to let you know. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. all of these things stem from the cookbook that uh, we released in 2018, and they all just have this commonality with South Texas and rodeo and this vaquero lifestyle, just yeah. utilizing what you have around you. I love that, and tying it all in, and this is a family legacy too for for you guys. It definitely is. My grandfather started the brand. You see. He's our, our logo. Yeah. Uh, 1959. Aww. Next year we'll be seeing, uh, celebrating 65 years. So legacy, family, and, and the food that we put out is extremely important. It's our identity. Yeah. And we're from South Texas. South yeah. Texas is where we are. So those things just kind of just inter interchange, right? Yes. Naturally. So. Yes. I love that you love what you do. Now, yes. how are those doing? So if somebody Probably. wants to make this at home, where can yes. you find Nopales? So you can find Nopales, you know, all over the, in your common my HB. Okay, good to know. Or, okay. you know, typically your Hispanic markets, okay. like La Michoacana, okay. they're going to have them more already prepared. And then you can add, like, potatoes or something crunchy. You have them in breakfast salad with eggs. Mm -hmm. They're extremely versatile and plentiful, and they're just, they're not very expensive. Got it. Got it. So a little bit of salt, maybe vinegar. Budget friendly. I love budget -friendly. it. Budget friendly. Awesome. Good. And healthy. I love that. Now, if you want, <laughs> if people want to follow you on TikTok, you share a lot all the time. Yes. So how can they follow you? What's your so name? So I'm at the Adrian Davila or Davila's Barbecue Across the Board, Twitter, it's Twitter Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> all all so socials cool. across yes. the board, not Twitter, let's say Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, we all socials mean, across the board. Yes, awesome. come and see us and you can find out a lot about what we do and, and, and why we do it. I love that. All right, Adrian, thank you so much. I'm going to go for the tacos now for more information mm -hmm. on Davila's Barbecue. Head to our website, SALive.com, click the ad scene on SALive tab and that QR code on your screen too. Are you going to eat something too? Of course. Okay, come I like on, let's burger. take a bite now. I've been mm -hmm. waiting on this. <laughs> <sighs> All right, that looks tasty, but so does this. Stick around because more food is on the way. Local burger masters, masters join us next and we learn how to make the perfect burgers.
Oh, uh, well, get ready because nobody makes burgers like this local restaurant. Oh, and here with the unbelievable over the top burger recipe, this is Mark Outing, owner of Mark's Outing Restaurant. Thank you How for you joining doing? us. Okay. Thank you for having right. Putting the patties mm -hmm. on there to sizzle. Because when we were just looking at it, we were looking at the two pound burger that you have, yeah. right? Two pounds. Two pounds, okay, and people can finish it, right? Yeah, actually you can. We have a two pound burger challenge over at Mark's Outing and what happens is if you finish it, you get your picture on the wall in color and if you don't finish it, we put it on the wall of shame in black and white. <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay, so how big are these patties, by the way? These are quarter pound patties here. Right. We're gonna make a it a little seasoning. easier for you. Yeah, you need to put it on that. Don't be, don't be, don't be afraid. Okay. <laughs> now, what's the secret to the seasoning? Uh, the seasoning? Well, it's ancient Chinese secret up in there. But when you're at the house, you just use your salt, your pepper, put a little bit of uh, seasoning on there. Go ahead and grab that, uh, that handle there. Oh. Oh, the handle. And then. Yeah. You want me there to turn it a little bit? Just turn it a little bit, yeah. Okay. There you go. So yeah. you said that, that way it just cooks nice and evenly? Yeah. Okay. okay. So do you want to cook a burger <laughs> real hot? And so it sears on the side, or I what? think you do want to cook it hot. If you if you if you if you're really really hungry, yeah. You know, okay, we'll flip it a little bit. Go ahead. Oh, okay. okay. I'm flip it over. Okay. There you go, Fiona. Mm -hmm. yeah. Give it a shot, and then season the side too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Smash on it a little bit. Smash on it a little oh, bit. Smash on it. No, smash. There you go. Wait. There you go. Wait. 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 There you go. Right okay. hand, none of the left hand. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're good. You so, how did you come up with? You said you had a two pound. Mm -hmm. What a one pound? Or well, we have two pound. Then we got a quarter pound. It's a bacon cheeseburger. This is a standard burger. The most top selling burger over at our place. Yeah. So that's a, a burger. We were supposed to have an ice cream burger here, but for <laughs> some way we, we dropped the ball and it, and it melted off, but it's a delicious burger, by the way. Oh, and I have had that before, and you would not think that it would be delicious, but oh my goodness it is. And it went viral, right? Yes, it did. We had a video on not long ago, actually, with the ice cream burger. A couple of guys came in and ate it, and <laughs> My golly, it started going off. Deep so fried what, ice cream. What was it? I like ice cream. I like burgers. Put mm -hmm. them together. Put them together. I like ice cream. I like milkshakes and burgers. So we just that, married them together. That's still going to be good. I'm we telling just married you. Them yeah, right, right now, you've got a milkshake in there. You can just dunk the burger yeah. in it. So. <laughs> Put it together. <laughs> How many different burgers on the menu? Right now, we're about 25. You got 25. We got bacon burgers, avocado burgers, jalapeno burgers, chili burgers. We got mushroom burgers. We got breakfast burgers, barbecue burgers, Heisman burgers, two pound burgers, one pound burgers, four I, pound burgers. Four, wait, four yeah, pounds? Four pounds. We got chicken burgers, turkey burgers. We even got vegetarian options for what's, veggie burgers. What's yeah. the Heisman burger? The Heisman burger is the burger which comes with uh, lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise, mustard, onions, pickles, avocados, and bacon, bacon, bacon. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. And there is, speaking of burgers, a burger, burger eating contest, right? Yep, we host a burger eating contest once a year. It's called the All American Burger Festival. What we do is we have a bunch of different comp comp competitions, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. competitions that start in July, and we wave them off for over uh, about four months, and then we have the finals in October, and this year we're hoping to do our finals at our new location in the mall, River Center Mall. All right, okay. and you, interesting, at your restaurant, you uh, usually hire formerly incarcerated individuals. How come? We do, yes, we are, because me knowing uh, I was once formerly incarcerated, getting out, sometimes it can be hard to uh, find a job. I was uh, blessed and privileged to be able to get a job coming out, mm -hmm. and so I just, I, I know that it's how hard that is, and so to be able to help other guys that have been in the same path I've been in, give them my opportunity, Plus, we're great workers. So. Yes. Uh, the other question is, though, for anybody that comes to work for you, is one of the requirements that they have to be able to eat that two-pound <laughs> burger? They don't have to be able to eat it, but we would encourage them to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put All right, some cheese so on these babies. Is it well, ready flip to go? It, flip it. Yeah, flip it one more time. Flip it one more time. time. Cheese it off. We're going to cheese it off, and we're going to build a burger. All right. So there you go. Cheese, mm -hmm. little cheese, mm -hmm. and then start piling those on there. No, no, you're gonna get you some lettuce, tomato, oh. unless you don't want none. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put this on the, on the bun yeah, first. Yeah, lettuce, tomatoes, okay. onions, pickles. The whole works. The okay. works. Which burger is this? Oh, well, that's gonna be a, this gonna be a bacon cheeseburger. We're gonna make a bacon cheeseburger live. Little bacon on mm -hmm. here. No, you gonna put your bacon on your on your. We're gonna oh. put it up here. Oops. Do I cut it? You yeah. cut it in half. You'll be good. How there you, you go. Oh, I, 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 really hot. Yes, really, really, really hot. Yes. Let's just do that one right there. Are you okay. gonna go for it? No, I. Okay. Then I can grab this. Can't right? let bacon go to waste. No. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. Put that right that, there. Pop that baby on there. Okay. You're take right. your top. All right. And that. Put that on there. That's it. All right. Tell folks, of course. 
where they can find you? You can find us at 1624 East Commerce or River Center Mall. And we are just right at Commerce and Ooh. Pine Street. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, and did you recently oh, open oh. A, another location? Or yep, just, just mm -hmm. River Center Mall. We just opened that one. All right, for more information on Mark's outing, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, well, are you ready to win $75,000? Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel has a special giveaway this month. The details are next. It's the biggest casino in Texas, and it's less than three hours away. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel has a lot to offer with great entertainment and tons of prizes. And here to tell us what's new at the casino is Janita Colesio, social media marketing specialist. Welcome, welcome, Janita. Hello, how are you? Hello, <laughs> all right. For those who have never been there yet, first of yes. all, why haven't you? But tell them all about it. Okay, well, um, we have some great food, we have some great entertainment, and then, well, of course, we have some great games for everybody to come and enjoy, and we are so close. Close your eyes and you're there. I know, less than three <laughs> hours, okay? And you have an on-site hotel, yes. restaurants too, mm -hmm. okay, which is great for foodies. Tell us about the restaurants and amenities. Oh yeah, so we do have um, Asun, which is our fine dining establishment. It is amazing. We have some live music for our guests Thursday through Sunday, so you can go enjoy a wonderful steak. We got plenty of options. And then on top of that, you get just such a great, great environment there. It is amazing. Come try the food, stay for the entertainment, and leave with the full stomach. It's amazing. Yes. Because we're in Texas, you guys have great barbecue too, oh, right? Yes, yes. We have Red Sky. Come try try the brisket. It, it is to die for. They got cilantro beans also because we are in Texas. You also you have to have, have those sides. That's yes, right. Yes, and some cornbread. Come see us. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and besides the slot machines, you mentioned that you guys have entertainment too with music. A little more about that. Exactly. So um, we have our Que Pasa Lounge, which includes um, Thursday through Sunday as well. We have Tejano, we have country, we have rock music coming in. And then we also have DJ nights. So we have a little bit of something for everybody. And then on Sunday, everyone's a star with karaoke. Stop it right now. So everybody <laughs> can, of course, channel their inner Rihanna. Right. Oh, and just oh go really? For it, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and bring the house down in a good of way. Of course, yeah, yeah. We have people coming every single Sunday, and they're just excited. they're regulars. Yes, yeah. they're yeah. regulars. Oh, they are. They are. They're, they're, they're regular stars. waiting for their name on the marquee right there yes. as they come in. Exactly. And the hotel and casino undergoing some renovation right now for a little bit of a facelift that'll make it even bigger and better, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes, yes. So we are tearing it up. We're going room room to room and then we're also going floor by floor. So expect that for the next couple of months, you know, just bear with us a little bit. Um, it's still a great place yes, to stay. Yes, no, no, <laughs> it's, it's not every room that's getting renovated every day. So, you know, we're going little bit by little and then we should be done by May. So you guys make sure to come check us out and we'll, Yes, Janita, <laughs> thank you so much to book your visit to Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass. Just call 888-255-8259 or visit the website luckyeagletexas.com. You can also find them on social media at Lucky Eagle Texas. And don't forget to sign up for the Players Club. Throwing SA Live, we are all about the snacks from manganadas to empanadas, where you can find your favorite mouth-watering Mexican street treats. Plus, do you love Girl Scout cookies? See how the Alamo City restaurants are taking your favorite flavors to the next level and how you can vote for your favorite creation. It's all tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All right, earlier we asked you who would you like to see perform at the rodeo? 
Sue says, my husband and I love Randy Rogers. So playing tonight, okay? We'd also like to see Turnpike Troubadours. And Herman's Hermits, Peter Noon, yes. I'm entering the eighth, I am. Entering the eighth, I am, I am. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I love it when you serenade me. <laughs> Don't forget about the big, big fresh market box. Open to anybody. Great way to promote mm -hmm. healthy eating in conjunction with the American Heart Association. Yes. And, of course, big thanks to Ma Harper's yep. Creole Kitchen. And Mark's Crossing. These burgers outing. there. Mark's Outing. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and I got confused just looking at this two pound burger right here. So yeah, that's one of the specialties as well as the ice cream burger. And speaking of more mm -hmm. food tomorrow, from manganadas to empanadas, where you can find mouthwatering Mexican street treats. Plus, if you love Girl Scout cookies, see how Alamo City restaurants are taking your favorite flavors to the next level and how you can vote for your favorite creation. That's all tomorrow at one. Yes, indeed. We will be back here tomorrow at one. So have a fantastic Thursday and stay warm, everybody.